Hey guys, my name's Gabro, and I hope you guys have an all good day, you know. It's important to be having a good day, ain't it? I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about friends. Like I said in my last video, I'm kind of looking back at all the friendships I've had and made and maybe regretting a bit the ones I had. It's important to choose your friends carefully. I ended up choosing friends that maybe led me to making bad decisions. But once I realized that maybe they're not, they're not great people and, well, just generally bad people, I realized I don't want to be with these people. And that's okay. It's okay to not want to be friends with someone, and that's something I need to come to realize I'm always worried about how I'll make other people feel when I talk to them or maybe tell them hey I don't want to be friends but at the end of the day that's what you gotta do most of my high school life I went to this place called genius I had these friends that you know, for the first few years, they were pretty great. But the thing is, they moved away. And I was left with one really good friend and one subpar friend. Now, in Genius, this is a homeschooling school. Or co-op, I should say. Uh, but people stick a around for a while. And I began to realize these people that I've known for a long time, I've never really got to know them. I know that sounds weird, but once I realized who they were, I... They, they aren't good people. And something I struggle with is I try to be a good person. You know, whenever I can. That's usually my intention. But if I want to be a good person or even great, then... I gotta surround myself with people I believe are good and great. Now not all of these friends at Genius are bad, but some of them, you know, have different point of views. And having different point of views isn't necessarily bad, but it, it can be terrible when the only way that they can make a joke or feel good about themselves by putting down other people. Now, if you ever meet someone who the only way they feel good about themselves is by putting someone else down, you know right away that they aren't a great person. Once I realized this, my friend group kind of changed. I go to this other school as well, on Tuesdays, where I met these three great, wonderful people that I truly hope to know for the rest of my life. They, they help me and want to be better. And at the end of the day, that's what we all need. Someone to help us want to be better. That's what we look for in our teachers, in our future spouse, and our friends. When it comes down to it, we should all be looking to try to be better. And your friends, whether you know it or not, define who you are. If you don't have good friends, chances are that you're going to be influenced not do great things and that's not okay there's people that are willing to settle with not being great but just being good and as I've come to realize that in my short life you know however short it's been that's not what I want I want to do something great and I'm not saying that this I think these YouTube videos are great. No, not at all. 
but I guess it's just kind of a way to get my thoughts out there, you know? Now, what is greatness? Well, I don't quite know myself. I think when you really boil it down, it... Hmm. You know, I've kind of stumped myself, ain't I? Greatness is the desire to not even... Not, no, I wouldn't say it's a desire, but the action of being better. Doing better. Great people don't look at a yard and say, Hey, I've pulled half these weeds. I've done pretty good. I can go inside and relax. Now, great people, <laughs> great people finish the work. Now, now I'll skip it with that analogy, but if you want to be great, you're going to need those friends to help you push yourself. That's what I've realized. Behind every great person in history is someone behind them who pushed them to be better. Like MLK Jr. He was one of the most revolutionary socially res rev revolutionary people of all time. And even him himself, I don't think would have been able to do it with his without his wife helping him from the sideline. Look at George Washington. I don't know a whole lot about him and his wife, but from what I do know is that his wife was, well, actually, I don't know a whole lot. I'd just be making up stuff, and that's not what I want to be doing. But behind every great person in history is great friends and great people in their lives. As, as ingenious in, in this other class we've gone to, or I went to, I've come to realize that. So when I realize that these people aren't good or even great, I wanted to change that. Now, it's it can be hard. I know. Trust me. But doing hard things is what makes us human. We're one of the factors. I'm not sure what I'm doing on this planet or in this world, but I truly hope it's great. I want to thank you guys for taking the chance, taking the time to sit down and listen to me ramble. I truly appreciate it to that one person that may be out there. Hope you guys have a great day and an even better one tomorrow.